see me, I think I'm in need of a personal trainer. Searching for personal trainers in the area. I've located a personal trainer. Energy for the beaches all night, okay? Coca Cola, almost like cocaine, then not cocaine. And then, put the bitches to sleep, like well. Fuck, man, we went in the liquor store and didn't even get no fucking liquor? I couldn't. I have no ID. You have ID? You have ID? No, I have no fucking ID, man. Fuck, how, how old do I look to you? Old as fuck. Old enough to buy liquor. liquor. You don't need no fucking liquor. Man, you're that bullshit. bullshit. Man, you ain't get in the car, man. Oh, man, look who caught. It's heavy. Yeah! Oh my god, let me see. Let me see the phone, man. Right there, you talk to that nigga. What's up, boy? My nigga! <laughs> hey, what? What's going on? Man, you know what the fuck is going on. What's the word? I know back page is shut down, but the bitches. Come on, my nigga. Got the bitches are everywhere. I know where the bitches at. We got them. Don't worry about nothing. 63.8% of the bitches went to Instagram. 22.5% okay. of the bitches are on. Facebook, 11.8% on Snapchat, chatting their muff away, but don't worry, I'll find the bitches. I don't care where you find these hoes, and I know y'all better have my motherfucking money. It's cool, we gonna get the money. Gonna have all the money, except, except the little money you spent at the, how much you spent? $22.10. Y'all better stop fucking playing with me, okay? Woo, it's phone pro, let's go. Mike, Boniga, yes. How's the food? Food good. How's the land? Land is good. How's the chicken? Chicken is good. How's the drink? The drink is good. Okay, okay. You know where I'm here, right, Mike? Where you here? I'm here to get that money for 50. Can I get out of here, please? No. I took not ask for extension. I need a payment plan. It's uh, not gonna work, man. I have three dollars right now. It's not gonna work. Skin, you help it's me. not enough. Red snow bunny. Cut that camera off. Please leave it on. I need evidence. Cut, cut that camera off. Cam you guys gonna kill me. Cut I need that evidence. camera off. Please don't leave it on. Hey, Mr. 50, Michael Blacks is here. We're gonna come. Mike, jump, jump the fence. Jump the fence, Mike. I got the money, 50. I'm bringing the money. Mike, man, go ahead. Mike, you know, I don't know, I'm not sure who shot you, baby. I just suit up here. Is anyone right in the center? Hold up. For the record, I'm gonna pay him his money I owe him. <laughs> I'm paying 50 cents the money I owe him. I no longer owe this when I suck, I get this money. I don't owe you no more. My debt is paid. <laughs> Congratulations, 50! Where's the after party? The candy shop? I'm prepared to the speech. There's so much that happened to it. And the pages are blank. <laughs> Michael Blackson is here. <laughs> Some little things I borrowed from you. You know what I mean? Like, I want to say this first. I'd like to thank God for, for being here, for being able to, to, to be a part of it. Hey Mike, you need to make a decision. Latina, Snow Bunny, or Nubian Queen? Oh my God. What are you going to do? Okay, you know I can cook for you. I like to eat. So many of us can always cook. Yeah, yeah. sure. So. But Mike, I have perfect credit. Good credit, the whole side of everything for me. Mike, I will birth you beautiful kings and queens oh, and you will rule. Oh my but god. But we don't have to eat and we fuck 24 seven. I like to fuck. I like to fuck. Right. Like fuck. You can cheat on me. Oh, shit, I love to oh, yes, yeah. fuck. I right. will cook you fufu and jollof rice. Jollof! Jollof! You know what? It's clear that he's lying. Okay. Of course not, bitch. Oh, you don't want to do things You can handle all three of you. No, no, no. I'm going to do with my credit card. Only I can handle all this mess.
Okay, it is uh, after midnight in most of the East Coast. A um, lot of these children are waiting for Santa to bring presents. I'm very sorry, but um, kids, that nigga is not coming. Santa is not a real nigga, okay? He's a fat, greasy ass nigga and he needs to go to the gym. He's been looking 100 years for over 200 years. Santa, when are you gonna die, my nigga, please? Okay, I hope I didn't ruin American children lives. I know your parents been telling you about be good because Santa, man, fuck that nigga. You know such thing as Santa. Your parents work hard and we buy presents to good children. So be good and your parents buy you gifts. Santa is just a fat guy. He's built like a capital O. This nigga don't work out, he don't eat healthy. And you sit on his lap and take pictures for many years, and every year the nigga look the same. American children, I'm telling the truth. That fat, greasy nigga is fake. Okay, I'm apologize. I no disrespect to anybody. With all due respect, I have no respect. Santa is a fake fat nigga. Sorry. What fat nigga comes out of the chimney? He can't even fit in the gym, man. nigga. I'm out. Man. Fuck. You have to work on yourself. You know, keep going to the gym. I do go to the gym. Okay. Keep going again. <laughs> when you leave here, go to the gym. When you wake up in the morning, go to the gym. Sleep at the gym for a couple of days. Sleep on the treadmill. What? Sleep on it. No. Yes. Okay. I, you know, I'm tight where it counts. Okay. So. I feel like, you know, a little extra jiggle here and there shouldn't be an issue. And I know there has to be men out there here in this village yes, but you that appreciates that. You want your man to pick you up, right? Yes. So yeah. he should be the one at the gym. Maybe I need to start looking for guys at the gym. Well, yes, that's not a bad idea. Okay. Yes, because they, they could pick you up. I can't. <laughs> okay. I've had a hernia twice. I've done not doing that shit again. Okay. You have to pick me up. Saints against the Houston Texans. Texans came up, hitting shit everywhere together. Went up 21 to 10. All of a sudden now, Houston started to take a shit and New Orleans came back. Took the lead to 27 to 21. Left the poor nigga, number four, 
with 50 seconds left. In 13 seconds, the nigga scored a touchdown. We thought the game was over, but no, they get the ball to that old white nigga named uh, Drew Brees, and nobody could breeze over that nigga. Next thing you know, a 58 yard field goal by another white nigga, and Houston Hart is crushed. I don't know what the fuck that was all about, but it was a good game. The next game I want to talk about was the first game of the season, Thursday night. The Packers of Green Bay versus the Bears of Chicago. Now, Chicago has a very furious defense, and the defense did their job because they held the Packers to 10 points. But the Bears still love because the nigga only scored three points. You have to score more. Please, my nigga. Uh, I, I blame it all on the quarterback. I call him the nigga Dudu Tabriski. Yeah, he threw a few interceptions to the other team. Listen, when you throw the ball, you have to throw it to the smile that's on your team. They have the same color as you. You can't throw it to the other niggas. So Chicago, get your shit together. Or Dudu Tubisky is going to have a very long season. The next game is the Giants versus the Cowboys. Very entertaining game at first. Giants got the ball and went down and scored a touchdown. I told you it's going to be a very interesting season for the Giants. You know, the running back, Barkley, he runs like he, he's been chased by 66 niggas in the hood. He, he ducks and moves around. Yes, but all of a sudden, the Cowboys and their $90 million uh, uh, running back. The nigga that has a full stomach and wear a half shirt and a full stomach. Yeah, Ezekiel Elliott with the napping beard. The nigga ran crazy. And Dak Prescott, he still won his contract. Money's on his way, Dak. Don't worry. Good game. They kick Giants' ass. Yes, Cowboys looking good. I hate that, but they be looking. Next game was the Cleveland Browns versus the Tennessee Titans. Oh, I'm so excited for Cleveland, the city of Cleveland. Because since LeBron left, Cleveland turned into Mississippi. But then all of a sudden... Odell Beckham Jr., who New York Giants cut him a fat check and then later cut him off the team. Now he's trying to prove that he's not cut from the same cloth. You know what the fuck I mean. But the whole city of Cleveland was all shaking, turning up and shit. Everybody's going to give him the pussy that night. But all of a sudden, shit did not go right. Their little quarterback who's always dancing and shitting videos when a nigga had a very bad day. He threw the ball to all the niggas on the other team but his own niggas. Cleveland, he has it together. Okay, Odell. And laundry on them niggas, yes. The next game is the Miami Dolphins versus the Baltimore Ravens. Shout out to Ravens, they had me this year. I went and told jokes to the players, all my niggas, Ingram and, and, and Jackson, and all them niggas, yes. Okay, this game was straight up ass, okay? It was an ass game. Bullshit game. The score was 59 to 10. Dolphins is a mama, but them niggas played like goldfish yesterday, okay? I don't know if they were still hiding for Hurricane Dorian, but what the fuck they were doing? Don't do that shit again. The score is 59 to 10. Let me tell you something, okay? When a team score and you get the ball, you should score too. You don't let them score, 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 and then you score. And then they score, 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 score. Fishes, get that shit together. I'm telling you, y'all no longer dolphin, y'all fishes to me. Yeah, go fish. Next game is the Vikings versus the Falcons. The Falcons flew all over my lantern just to land on their face like that. And I thought it was going to be a hard day for Vikings. I thought they would need more than the cousins. I thought they would need grandfather and uncle and sisters and brothers. But no, they just need a cook and another white nigga named Tyrion. Congratulations, Vikings. Very good season for you, you niggas. Yes, keep, keep on going. Jaguars versus the Kansas City Chiefs. My Philadelphia Eagles handily gave the Jaguars Nick Foles, the Super Bowl MVP from a year and a half ago. Just for what? Just to go to Jacksonville, a place that's full of so much bad luck. The nigga threw for a 37-yard touchdown, and then all of a sudden, he broke his ligament towards ACL. His neck bone got broken. His dick and balls, everything fucked up. Jaguars, good luck for the rest of the year, my niggas. Okay, that's a good game. Next game is the Seattle Seahawks against the Cincinnati Bengals. My nigga, Russell Wilson, is getting pussy every night. He's married to Sierra. Yeah, fuck it. Has baby, everything, you niggas. Boss everywhere is so happy, having a very good season. Came from behind and beat the Cincinnati Bengals. He banged the Bengals just like he banged his wife every night. Congratulations, Seahawks. Yes. Can't forget my Philadelphia Eagles. The rest can float into town. Thought they was gonna have an easy day with us. They started by Case Keenum. He started throwing touchdown, went up 17 points on us. And then guess what? Murder was the kids that they gave him because the Eagles stepped the game up. And Carson Wentz started throwing it to my nigga. Deshaun Jackson, welcome back to Philadelphia. Deshaun Jackson, quick walk into the end zone. 
These following games should not have been on television. They should have been on Instagram Live, okay? That's the Colts versus the Chargers and the Buccaneers versus the 49ers. Last but not least, the Detroit Lions against the Arizona Cardinals. That game went into a tie, 27-27. Tie is the worst feeling in the world. It's like no feeling. It's like tongue kissing your grandmother. I've never tongue kissed my grandmother before. Okay, one time, but it's, it's a long story. Just don't judge me. Fuck you, see you next week. This is absolutely one of the worst days of our life. And right about now, you're probably questioning God. That's the first thing we do when things go bad, we question God. Why God allowed this to happen? What kind of God is he? How, what God takes a man away from his wife and kids? Don't do that. Don't question God. Don't judge. Just thank God for bringing Kobe into our life. For bringing such a wonderful talent into our life. He's took him so soon, so young, and at a prominent life where he's he's spending time with his family after retiring. Because when you play in this league or when you're an entertainer, you're always on the road. You're always doing this, doing that. Finally, you retire because you want to enjoy your personal time with your family. And this happens. But whatever you do, don't you dare judge God. Thank God for bringing Kobe to our life. Rest in peace, Kobe. Our condolences go to your family, your wife, your three kids you left behind, your daughter that's now with you in heaven. May your soul rest in peace. Today, just call your loved ones, call your friends, Anybody you know, just tell me love them and just live your life the best you can. <laughs> live one day at a time because tomorrow is not promised to us.